Welcome to The Valley Girls, the weekly podcast where we explore everything there is to see, do, try, eat, and experience in New York's Hudson Valley by talking to the makers, the doers, the growers, the creators, and all the unique voices of the Hudson Valley. We're telling the Hudson Valley story one episode at a time. I'm Jenny Leifer, a lifelong Hudson Valley resident. When I'm not co-hosting Valley Girls, you'll find me talking all about health and wellness, finding the best gluten-free eats in the Hudson Valley, and giving back to the community through volunteerism and service. And I'm Jennifer Santiago, a Hudson Valley native who has spent the past 20 years living in Texas. I'm currently splitting my time between Texas and the Hudson Valley as I'm in the process of moving back. And I'm so excited to explore and rediscover everything I love about the region, including hiking, history, and the local arts scene. Today, we are speaking with a hidden treasure of the Hudson Valley, Jean Morris. Jean is a certified small business advisor at Mid-Hudson Small Business Development Center. She is a former restaurant owner who has worked for the Mid-Hudson Small Business Development Center first as the director from 1986 to 1994, and then returned as a business advisor in 2014 after retiring from teaching business-related classes at the Culinary Institute of America for 20 years. Jean, we are so pleased to have you here. Welcome, and thank you so much for joining us today. And thanks for inviting me. My pleasure. Yeah, thank you. So for anyone like the Valley Girls who might want to bring a new business to the area, thinking about starting a new business, it is very overwhelming. There seems like there's a lot to think about and a lot to, to sort out, um, especially when you have little to no startup money, uh, like the Valley Girls started. We want to share with you that there are some great resources available for getting started. Jean, your advice and insight was invaluable to us as we were starting this venture. It is just incredible that the services offered through the Small Business Development Center are free. This is a completely free resource available to anyone living in the area uh, who wants to start a business. One of the most helpful and valuable things we learned from you was how you described the process and the sites to use for setting up our business, the different business structures, and especially telling us that if somebody just Googles it, you may fall into the trap of paying a few hundred dollars for the same services that the SBDC offers free of charge. Can you tell us a little bit about the SBDC and how they're able to offer these services? Sure. Uh, SBDC was originally started in New York State in 1984 uh, with, I think, three centers around the state of New York, and then it kept expanding out from that point. And we are primarily funded through the U.S. Small Business Administration, um, a federal program, and that's how we're able to offer free services. We also, uh, in New York State, get money or have money uh, given to us through the uh, New York State uh, Research Foundation from SUNY. And then uh, some of the centers, because there are 20 centers around the state of New York doing exactly what I was I do, um, with probably about 150 people or so doing, you know, either from home and or in the office, um, we, you know, we were able to offer those kind of services because of the host institution uh, donates the site and then also some uh, funding for us as well. So because we're funded federally and state and local, we are able to provide our services for nothing. We, uh, all of us probably do it a little bit different, you know, and that, based on our own experience and, and um, you know, how, how we actually operate. But I always like to tell stories. And one of the stories that I told was about somebody that I was talking to and that, you know, and I was going through the process of the, the startup steps. First thing you look at is what kind of legal form of organization do you want to choose? How do you do that um, based on risk and all sorts of other factors? Where do you go to do those things is also what I talked about. And then somebody would say to me, yeah, well, I just spent $700, $800 on legal Zoom." to do something that, first of all, you could do yourselves and or you could have us help you do it because that's what I've done in the past for nothing. And then another one, another startup step is getting an employee identification number through the IRS. And that also is free. And then I had some other clients say to me, I just paid $200 to do it because when they typed it in, the first thing that popped up was a service provider. And sure, they took my $200 
for doing something that you would get for nothing through the IRS. So it's, it's always a good idea, at least in my mind, you know, and maybe it, I'm because I am doing this and have been doing this for a long time, I think it's good to check out what is our free service as well as then what do we do, talk about. So for startup companies, I always go over, have you done this? Have you done that? All the different legal things that you have to do to become legal. And I can tell you that there are people who don't necessarily want to do that, but it, it, to really go ahead and be uh, a legal entity in, the, in, in this country, you, you need to do it for a certain number of steps. And then if it's an existing business, we also then talk about what are your needs? Because we, we not only help startup companies get started and go through all the, the, what I always like to think of almost as administrivia, if you would, that you have to do to get legal, and then talk about financing. If you need financing, what do you have to do to do that? And then we talk about if it's needing financing, we talk about all the things that the banker will ask of you. Uh, if you don't have a banker, then we talk about different banking opportunities, uh, talk about the business plan that you'd be required to have to do that. And we then also, the same thing happens when we talk with uh, people who either want to expand or sell their business. We talk about the, the different components that you have to be aware of to be able to do that. Um, and, and, and it's a very broad service. Um, we've helped of an enormous number of people over the years in New York State. And just so, also so you have an awareness, we are all, SBDCs are, are probably across all the states in the United States because New York State SBDC is a part of a larger organization called the American Small Business Development Centers. They have an annual meeting every year, somewhere usually out on the West Coast. And, um, you know, so all the states have the same programs because that's what the SBA is about partially in terms of its, um, you know, programs and things like that. So we are one of their primary service providers. Um, and so we're, we're nationwide, but New York state uh, since 1984 has helped over, you know, 500,000 people. Wow. Um, and we also are sort of required to capture if we can, the investment impact that people have put into uh, New York State. And since 1984, it's been $8.7 billion wow. in, home, in equity That's funding, amazing. equity, you know, owner's equity and, uh, and loans. And then we've created or saved over uh, 263,000 jobs have either been created or saved since 1984. And, you know, we, as you said, we may be a hidden gem because we don't really do a whole heck of a lot of advertising, if you would. Um, and so some of what we do is outreach and going to chamber meetings and, you know, being involved in different community events and things like that. And because we don't really advertise our services, but somehow or another, those, you know, over 580,000 people have come to us since 1984. And locally at the Mid-Hudson, now the Mid-Hudson SBDC serves a fairly large geographic area. Our main counties are Ulster, because that's where the home office is, and we have satellite offices in Dutchess County, Sullivan County, as well as Orange County. So we have those four are our main counties. A number of years ago, we were able to get a grant from the Catskill Watershed Corporation so we also offer our services to por portions of um, <clears throat> Delaware, Green, and Schoharie County. So we have a pretty large geographic area. Other, one, other SBDCs in the Hudson Valley would be up in Albany, and then the other one would be in Rockland County. So those are the three that are basically in the, in the valley. I put together a short... Um, PowerPoint with slides about our information and contact information as well, so that if you want to contact us, you, you can get that off their website. Um, and, you know, and again, it's free. And, you know, like I used to say to my students at the culinary when we'd be talking about financing, and a lot of folks get their financing through friends and family, and I would say to them, if you get the money from them and they don't want to be paid back, take the money and run, hun. And so the same thing is true about free services. Use it to the fullest extent that you can. Uh, we're here to help. 
Uh, we also have in our an, another resource that we have that I think is also notable is we have in our central administration office, which happens to be up in Albany, a group of people called the Research Network. And the Research Network is are all trained librarians. And if there's something that I don't know, and I have to be the first to admit that I don't know everything, uh, even though I've been around uh, a long time, um, I can reach out to them and they can help provide information for us, again, as part of our free service. So That's incredible. That it, is really it, incredible. Yeah, no, it, it, I, I always think of it as a very good service. So when I did retire from teaching at the culinary in for, 2014, they had a part-time job back at SBDC in Mid-Hudson, and um, this is what I really like to do, and I'm very glad that I'm doing it. And well, hopefully we, I'm helping people. <laughs> yes, we are very glad you are doing it too. Your your services have just been incredible. You as a person, it's just it's been such a pleasure getting to know you. And I can tell you, like I said, from experience, it was a very daunting task, very daunting thought to create a business from nothing, from the ground up. Um, and you know, we, we we learned from you. You know, don't don't get trapped with spending hundreds of dollars. Um, the whole process between setting up the business entity, getting our EIN from the IRS, as you instructed us to, everything has just been smooth sailing. And, and you know, we owe a debt of gratitude to you. So thank you so much. And as well, you mentioned, the uh, best way for someone to get in touch if they're interested in SBD services is through the website. As Jean mentioned, we will have all of that information, both in our show notes and on our website, valleygirlspodcast.com. Uh, it is nyssbdc.org. When you are on the website, if you just click the locations tab, you can see all the locations offered. Uh, but again, as Jean mentioned, there is uh, an office up in the Albany area and in Rockland. And there are others further downstate in the city in Long Island as well, depending on where you're, you're from. So, Jean, thank you so much for being here and for all of your help and assistance. And it's been a pleasure. And thank you for inviting me. It's always good to have a conversation about what I do. Um, it, it, it was, my husband always says to me, goes, so are you going to save some souls today? <laughs> so, <laughs> and you have. Right. You have right. saved many I'm souls. I'm always trying to. Sometimes <laughs> I'm not successful, but I am. You I'm, have. I'm hopeful that I always do. Yes. Thank you so much, Jean. You're welcome. Bye-bye. Thank you to all our listeners. We hope you enjoyed listening. If you enjoyed this episode and you'd like to help support the Valley Girls, please follow our podcast from our show page on whichever platform you listen from. Leave a rating and review and share our podcast with others. We appreciate it so much to stay up to date with the Valley Girls. And for more content, you can find us at valleygirlspodcast.com and you can follow us on Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube. Links to all our social media accounts are in the show notes. We just really appreciate all of this. And also, uh, you can connect to all of our social media through our homepage at valleygirlspodcast.com. So thank you so much for listening. Bye for now. Bye-bye. The music for this episode is by Robert Burke Warren, entitled Painting a Vast Blue Sky, and can be found on his album, Redheaded Friend, available on iTunes and Spotify, and at the link in the show notes. Thank you.